Ever notice how you promise yourself, today's the day I'll finally start that project, only to find yourself three hours deep in a social media rabbit hole? Your brain isn't broken, it's actually protecting you in its own misguided way. But most productivity gurus won't tell you is that willpower alone can't fix procrastination. In the next five minutes, I'll show you the five neurological triggers that activate your procrastination response and the counterintuitive techniques that actually work with your brain chemistry instead of against it. You've been staring at that project for days now. Every morning, you promise yourself, today's the day I'll finally get it done. Yet somehow, evening arrives and you've managed to reorganize your desk, clean out your email inbox, and scroll through social media, everything except the one thing you actually needed to accomplish. But what if I told you that your inability to start isn't a moral failing or lack of discipline? What if procrastination is actually your brain's misguided attempt to protect you. We typically view procrastination as the enemy of productivity, a weakness to overcome through sheer willpower. But neuroscience reveals a startling truth. Your brain is actively working against your conscious intentions for what it believes is your own protection. This isn't a design flaw. It's an ancient survival mechanism that's now malfunctioning in our modern environment. Your brain evolved during times when conserving energy and avoiding potential threats meant the difference between life and death. When our ancestors faced physical dangers, this protective response served them well. But in today's world where threats are often psychological rather than physical, this same mechanism leads us to avoid tasks that pose no actual danger, just the possibility of emotional discomfort. <laughs> the science confirms this isn't about laziness or poor character. Research from Fushia Sirvois at the University of Sheffield demonstrates that procrastination represents a fundamental breakdown in self-regulation. Not because you lack willpower, but because your brain prioritizes immediate emotional regulation over long-term goals. When faced with a challenging task, your limbic system, the emotional center of your brain, activates before your prefrontal cortex can engage rational thinking. This creates an automatic avoidance response that feels almost impossible to override. Think of it like this, your brain experiences the anxiety of starting a difficult project as a genuine threat just as you'd instinctively pull your hand away from a hot stove. Your brain pulls you away from potential emotional discomfort. The problem is that this protective mechanism operates below the threshold of conscious awareness. You don't decide to procrastinate. Your brain makes that decision for you based on threat detection algorithms that evolved thousands of years ago. This explains why traditional productivity advice so consistently fails. When you try to force yourself through willpower alone, you're essentially fighting against neural pathways specifically designed to protect you from perceived threats. It's like trying to override your blinking reflex when something flies toward your eye. Possible for a moment, but ultimately futile as a long-term strategy. What makes this cycle particularly insidious is how it reinforces itself. Each time you avoid a challenging task, you experience immediate relief from the anxiety it was causing. This relief acts as a powerful reward that strengthens the neural pathways connecting that specific task with avoidance behavior. Over time, these pathways become the path of least resistance for your brain, creating a self-perpetuating cycle that becomes increasingly difficult to break. Even more troubling is what researchers call procrastination as self-harm a phenomenon where chronic procrastination creates a feedback loop of avoidance, self-criticism, shame, and further avoidance. Your brain's attempt to protect you from short-term discomfort actually sets you up for greater long-term suffering, increased stress levels, and damaged self-esteem. Uh, Dr. Tim Peichel from Carleton University describes this as giving in to feel good a momentary escape that ultimately makes us feel worse about ourselves. The cruel paradox is this. By avoiding short-term discomfort, your brain's protective mechanism creates significantly greater long-term suffering. The brief relief of putting off that important presentation comes at the cost of sleepless nights, rushed work, and potentially career-limiting performance. The temporary comfort of avoiding that difficult conversation leads to deteriorating relationships, 
and festering resentment, this protective response isn't triggered randomly. It's activated by five specific neurological patterns that your brain interprets as threats. When you procrastinate on that important presentation or avoid having that difficult conversation, it's because one of these five triggers has been activated. But here's the question that changes everything. Which specific trigger is sabotaging your productivity right now? You've downloaded productivity apps, created elaborate task management systems, and even hired coaches, yet the procrastination persists. These external solutions fail because they're targeting the symptoms while ignoring the neurological root causes. It's like taking pain medication for a broken leg without ever setting the bone. Let's examine the five distinct neurological triggers that activate your procrastination response, each requiring its own specific intervention. Trigger one, perfectionism paralysis occurs when your brain associates task completion with the threat of judgment or criticism. This isn't just about high standards, it's a neurological fear response. When you face that important report or creative project, your brain scans for potential judgment threats. The mere possibility of criticism activates your brain's protective mechanisms, creating a paralysis response that manifests as procrastination. Your brain literally decides that not doing the task is safer than doing it imperfectly. This explains why highly capable, intelligent people often struggle the most with starting important projects. The higher your capacity for excellence, the more threatening potential imperfection becomes. Trigger to Emotional regulation deficit activates when a task generates negative emotions like boredom, frustration, or anxiety. Your brain is constantly seeking emotional equilibrium, and tasks that disrupt this balance trigger an automatic protection response. That tax preparation you've been avoiding? Your brain isn't lazy, it's desperately trying to regulate your emotional state by steering you toward activities that provide immediate emotional relief. Each time you check social media instead of tackling that spreadsheet, you're witnessing your brain's emotional regulation system in action. This trigger is particularly powerful because it operates below conscious awareness, making it feel like you're making choices when you're actually responding to unconscious emotional regulation needs. Trigger three, identity protection kicks in when tasks challenge your self-image or require confronting potential inadequacies. Your brain maintains a coherent sense of self at all costs, and activities that threaten this identity activate robust protection mechanisms. That's why the aspiring entrepreneur might procrastinate on launching their business, not because they lack motivation, but because success or failure would challenge their current identity. Your brain would rather preserve your existing self-concept, even if that means hindering your growth. This protection mechanism explains why career transition, learning new skills, and pursuing ambitious goals often trigger intense procrastination. They all represent potential identity threats. Trigger for reward imbalance occurs when your brain calculates that the reward for completing a task is too distant or uncertain compared to the immediate gratification of procrastination activities. Your neurological reward system evolved to prioritize immediate certain rewards over delayed uncertain ones. <laughs> when facing tasks with long-term payoffs like saving for retirement or building a business, your brain's calculation is ruthlessly logical. The guaranteed dopamine hit from checking email offers better immediate value than the uncertain future reward of your long-term project. This isn't weakness, it's your brain performing exactly as designed. Maximizing reward certainty in an uncertain world. Trigger five, executive function overload manifests when cognitive fatigue depletes your brain's capacity to override automatic procrastination responses. Your prefrontal cortex responsible for planning, decision-making, and impulse control requires significant energy resources. When these resources are depleted through stress, poor sleep, or previous demanding tasks, your brain lacks the neurological resources needed to resist procrastination triggers. This explains why willpower fluctuates throughout the day and why those with ADHD or anxiety disorders face additional challenges. They're working with executive function systems 
that require more energy to maintain control over automatic responses, these five distinct triggers explain why procrastination manifests differently across various scenarios. The project, with unclear expectations, triggers perfectionism paralysis, while the tedious data entry task activates emotional regulation deficits. Understanding which specific trigger is activating your procrastination response is crucial because each requires a different intervention strategy tailored to its unique neurological mechanism. The truth is breaking free from procrastination isn't about more willpower or pushing harder against your own nature. It's about understanding that your brain can change. Neuroplasticity, your brain's remarkable ability to reorganize itself, means you can literally rewire the neural pathways that trigger your procrastination response. Start with something manageable like the 15-minute rule. By committing to just 15 minutes on a challenging task, you bypass the brain's initial resistance and often find yourself continuing beyond that time frame. This isn't just a productivity hack. It's a neurological intervention that weakens your avoidance response each time you use it. Small, consistent changes create significant neurological shifts over time. You're not fixing a character flaw, you're creating new neural pathways that associate task completion with safety and reward rather than threat. Your procrastination didn't develop overnight and neither will its solution. But with each small victory, you're literally changing your brain's wiring, creating a new default response to challenges that moves you forward instead of keeping you stuck.